and we're going to say hello to Facebook. Hi, guys. How are you? Hello, everyone. Wow, we're up to like 97 on TikTok. Oh, hello, my darlings. How are you all? This is going to be such a good class. You are going to find out right now whether there's a spirit with you. And I know you're probably thinking, oh, that's such a clickbaity sort of title. But I'm actually going to teach you whether there is one with you. So if you are brand new to me, please go and check out my freebies in my TikTok link. And you can find out your actual psychic ability right now, like instantly. And also come and join the community that I'm live in right now because it's jam-packed full of trainings and insight and you're just going to absolutely love it. Because Hi, these guys do love it. Let me just mute me. There we go. Hello, hello, everyone. I'm just going to tag you all in at everyone. And we're going to get started. So hello, my Facebookers. If this is the first live stream that you've watched, welcome, welcome. Hi, Linda. Hello, my darlings. Hello, Emma as well. Hi, Mark. Hi, Rory. Hi, Sophie. Hello, my darlings. Right, so let's get started then because we've got a lot to cover and I'm really going to get into this with you all. So I go live three times a week and I give you content on spiritual connection and how you can actually enhance your gifts. If you are in my Facebook community, you will have access to 31 trainings. They're all completely available for you to watch at any time. Enjoy them. And also there's going to be a masterclass next Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. UK time. And that is going to go through the fastest way that you can connect to spirit. It's going to be absolutely phenomenal. I can't wait to share it with you all. So feel free to join any of these and get as much insight as you possibly can, because spirituality will 100% change your life. And it will just bring you so much joy and so much peace. And let's change this weirdness and this feeling that it's almost a bit for other people, or it's almost a bit scary, or it's almost a little bit, is it true? Let's just make your own decisions go and watch some stuff and see what comes through for you put spirit to the test have a bit of fun with this and see what actually works for you because once you make the connection and you find a way that is good for you to connect then the rest just works itself out now we did go through this yesterday on the best way for you to connect and where you're actually open spiritually at this moment right now in your body and what sense is activated we did that yesterday so you can catch that back if you want to go and watch it and it will be in the Facebook group. All right. So thank you, Bernadette. Bernadette saying it really does change your life. It 100% changes your life for the best. It's like the sense of peace and the sense of assurity that you're nurtured and looked after. It's a, it's a feeling people don't go for. And I don't understand why, because it's incredible. It's just so healing. It's so wonderful. So anyway, we're going to identify today how you know if there's a ghost or a spirit with you right now. There are different ways that you can actually understand this and gauge it for yourself. So we're going to go through those now. But I'm going to go through firstly the sensations of what you might feel or what you might be experiencing. Because you may have had one of them. Well, I know you will have had probably at least three of these. But then you'll be almost like, oh, I just assumed it was the it was a wind or I assumed it was just something else going on with me. You probably wouldn't have made that association that it actually was a spirit. So hopefully this will give you some light bulb moments. Let me know in the comments, Facebook group, what's going on. And also on TikTok, you let me know as well which one resonates with you. And let's get started. So the most common one is the body chills. Ooh. You know, when you like, it's really warm and all of a sudden you go really cold. And it's like, oh, just got like a, a body chills like this. And like, oh, like, have you ever said the term, someone's just walked over my grave? Has anyone ever said that? Not everyone's heard of that saying, so it'd be interesting to see how many of you have said that. Well, that is when a spirit is touching you or is near you or you've got one time. So if there's a lot of spirits near you, then you will feel that all of a sudden it's like a, a charge of energy next to you. And it just goes like that. And you can jump out of nowhere. It's so bonkers when you feel it. So if you haven't experienced it, when you do, you'll know exactly what I mean. It's really, really bizarre. So the other one is the sensation like goosebumps going up your arms. 
you know how when you're saying something and it's like and you're just talking and then all of a sudden your goosebumps go on your arm so you feel like a tickling here um you also can get it across your scalp as well like a tickling on your scalp and goosebumps and just feeling that like somebody's just with you that that sensation and what actually happens with that is one or two things it's a spirit letting you know they're there um, but usually when you get that, it's a confirmation. It's a confirmation that what you're talking about, what you're sharing, what you're thinking about, or what you're wanting to work towards is correct. So it's like, yes, you are correct. So my psychic students, for example, they get it when they're actually when they're actually connected and they're making those connections. And they're like, oh, and they get it so much that they actually thought they got nits. So a lot of them went out and they brought knit cream which I was like, that's absolutely hilarious. You've gone out and brought knit cream. So funny. So it is a tingling sensation. It's like a, a reassurance that you're on the right path. So it's a very different sensation to a shudder. Very, very different. So let me know if you've had that. Erin, my Facebook group is called Talk Spirit to Me. I know it's a bit controversial, the topic and title, but I love it. It's amazing. And that's where I'm live right now, as well as here. So it's the goosebumps, the the like the confirmation, the sensation, and you'll find that when you get that, you will have experienced something that's giving you confirmation of what you're thinking about. So the next time you have it, stop and go, okay, what am I doing? What am I thinking? What, what's happening in my life? What is it I'm, I've just got that for? And then see if you can relate it to something, but it's the confirmation from your guides that you're on the right track, okay? So it's really, really exciting when you get that one. Um, tingling in your limbs. Who's actually ever had tingling in their, their hands and their legs? Like a tingling sensation, almost like when you've sat, because I always sit with my leg underneath my other leg. It's the worst thing for posture. But you know how your leg can go tingling, a little bit numb because it's not had the blood flow through to it, a bit like that. So that is also a spiritual sign, but it's more of a deep connective sign. So yeah, like pins and needles. So it's more of um, it's more for those that are doing deep spiritual connections. So if you do ever experience that, there's a reason for it. There's a real reason for it. It's not just a confirmation. It's a deep connection to a spirit that is wanting to communicate to you. And also your gift is either very advanced if you've been working on it or your psychic senses are very activated. So you've got more than one sense activated, as in you can see, you can hear taste smell so there's more than one thing happening so that is a very powerful one the other one is energy spurts energy spurts who's had it where you're just like oh i'm off i'm gonna do this oh i'm gonna do fifty-five thousand things and it's not even 12 o'clock in the day and i've already done so much wow yay me i'm on a roll whoever's had that like energy spurt so when you get an energy spurt it isn't because you've probably had eight hours sleep or drank four cups of coffee or something you know those things can contribute to energy spurts of course and eating well but it can be very much a case of your guides know you need to get things done they know that there's things that you need to move with so they're supporting you and the spirits are helping you have the energy to get going it's incredible when it happens and you think oh what a productive day why can't I always be that way why can't these days always be so productive why can't they always you know be this energized and it's great so energy spurts are really really strong so you know when someone's got spiritual energy bursting through them because they get like um, a sparkle in their eyes like their face is awake their their skin's glowing it's like um it's not a forced it's not a caffeine fix it's not something that as it's not like an exercise fix where you've got the serotonins all in your body it's an actual sparkling in the face and skin and you actually look really well you look like ready ready to go um, this one, oh my gosh, this one I never understood for a long time was a spirit near me, but it's also one of two things. So just let me explain this because this really, this caused me a few problems before I actually realized what it was. So when I used to see people, I'd be out shopping and before I realized that I needed to close down and open up the right way, I actually saw people say in the distance and I couldn't actually fully see you know in a shopping center where you're walking along and you see people far ahead and you just kind of don't really pay any attention to you. you're in your own zone and you're just walking along but anyway I remember seeing people far far away and then all of a sudden my leg would just go so my leg would just give way or it pain and I'd be like oh god what's wrong with my leg oh this is weird and then coming towards me would be somebody in a wheelchair or somebody on crutches or something and it'd be their leg 
that was actually a living person, by the way, not a spirit, um, it would be their leg that's in plaster or what they're on crutches and their leg would be gone. And they actually thought I was picking on them or making fun of them because my leg would go and I'd be just like trying to drag my leg along. But I was their energy because I hadn't mastered closing down at that point. So I didn't understand that I was wide open and I was feeling their energy and it was like, oh my gosh. So, and I kept thinking, oh my gosh. And then when they walked past, it'd go. So very, very odd, but that actually happened with people that were living. So that can happen with the living, but it can also happen when there's a spirit on the other side wanting to come forward. And if there's a spirit with you that say, passed on from chest pains, for example, and then you receive like a, a chest pain, obviously disclosure guys, make sure that you go and get anything checked out, any aches or pains or anything that causes you any disruptions or anything like that, go and get it checked out, absolutely. But this was like a sudden, sudden pain. So it's a very different pain when it's actually a spiritual connection. You know it's not your body, but then you also know it's not, you also know it's real, like you can feel the physical pain. Um, so has anyone experienced this? Does everyone know what I'm talking about? totally ignores you on Facebook I do apologize um I will come to everyone's comments but it's just it's just so bizarre yeah so you're all feeling it yeah yeah you all understand it's so bizarre it's just like the weirdest feeling it's just the oddest sensation and yeah I can't quite describe it it's um it's just like you feel it like you feel that their emotion you feel everything you feel that connection so that is when you understand that it's not your energy, it's actually the person, the spirit coming through. And the reason they do it is not to give you discomfort, to make you feel like you're having some kind of heart attack. They do it because it's their way to actually, to come on and actually feel you and actually connect. So they can come through and then from there, they can make a link. So you can actually go, oh, this is what I feel. I feel if you were there with the clients and you were reading them, I feel my heart is going, do you have a person on the other side that passed from heart conditions, et cetera? And you can bring the spirit through. So it's a way that they communicate with you. And that's what actually happens. But just be aware of it because sometimes we can think, what on earth are we going on about? And why am I experiencing all these things? And you could be classed as a hypochondriac. Like, oh, I'm a hypochondriac. Every five minutes have something different going on with me. But you do learn to realize the difference. You do learn to know when it's actually different. And you can also learn to close it off and block it off the more that you develop your spiritual ability. All right. So that's the other thing. The other one, smells. All right. So who's actually smelt burning? Who's actually smelt smoke? Who's actually smelt perfume? Who's actually smelt somebody that actually uh, used to have a certain smell about them? Maybe a washing powder that's crossed over. Who else? Who else thinks that? Let me know who's had that experience I will come to all your comments I promise I'm trying to not answer them all as I go along otherwise I'll never get what I'm trying to say to you all but I promise I will go through the comments I can see you all commenting on both platforms so thank you keep them coming I want to hear from you so yeah you do get that so the smells and the random smells it might not be as popular because it is a rare spiritual gift it's a rare sense so if you do have that You've got a rare ability and you need to be developing it because not everyone can do that and people don't understand why it's like what on earth is this what on earth am I experiencing and I remember sitting there and going can anyone smell smoke something burning is the oven on is this on fire is is you know someone lit something and it's like no or cigarettes like hardly anyone smokes anymore do they and it's like why can I smell cigarettes like somebody sat next to me and lit one right away so all of this is actually a psychic sense, but it's also showing you that a spirit is with you and actually present in your vicinity in that moment in time. And they're wanting to make a connection with you. Um, this one can freak people out a little bit, but they do do it. They move objects. So you think you've lost something. You think, oh, I'm such a scatterbrain. I've put this down. I can't remember where I've put it, or I've just put that there and it's gone, what is going on? They move things. So they move your jewelry, they can move your makeup, uh, they can move things from your car keys, your phones, they move things all the time. And you're just like, oh, but they're trying to get your attention with this. There's a reason for it. They're not trying to make you feel like you've lost your mind and cause you distress. What they're actually doing is 
they're trying to make you realize that at that moment in time you need to pay attention to something else or you need to slow down or for example if they're hiding your car keys you weren't meant to drive the car at that moment in time so it's about all of these things being aware that they all play different roles it's not that they're trying to grab your attention and just focus on spirit and that's it so just be remembering that every time it's something happens they move something before you get frustrated and think oh I've got a spirit just play me up they can actually be there to save you and look after you and that's why they do things all right so it is weird I know and it is odd and it does feel a bit like God's sake spirit but it does help all right it does help so the other one is doors. They like to close doors a lot and they also play with phones. Has anyone had anything where the phones rang or their text messages just beep and it's just really something random and the screen goes blank? And I mean, the phone one and telecommunications is one of the rarities. They have to have quite a strong spirit to be able to do that. Um, but they certainly can do that, especially with doors. My favorite ones to know that they're with you right now and there's a spirit with you it's the feathers. So feathers, I love receiving feathers. It's like everything to me when I get a feather. Angel numbers, the 111s, the 222s, the repetitive numbers that just grab your attention, not the ones you just see because like the ones that you actually see and they make you feel like all the goosebumps, all the all the feels that you get with it. Uh, robins, all these signs, rainbows. I can go on with all of these things. Like they all come forward. All of those are a sign that a spirit is with you right now and also your guardian angels guiding you so electrical interference is the one that is the hardest for spirit to do so when they actually play with their lights or play with electric in any way it's one of the really it's like really hard for spirit to do that it takes a lot of their energy so if you are experiencing that in your house there's a strong spirit with you there's a strong spirit that is trying to grab your attention and I'll come to that in a minute but if anyone's had it, there's a reason for it. And yeah, all right. I'm so pleased you're all here. Thank you. Everyone said, I'm so glad I found this live stream. I'm so glad you're all here. I love sharing this information with you all. It just makes me so happy. There we go. Yeah, see, Linda's watched controlled investigation. When she's done in controlled environments with paranormal investigation, she's seen objects moving. Yes. Yes, feathers, love it. Kitchen lights flicker, dictation button on the phone keyboard. Yes, that's the other one. And also, oh, you've just reminded me there, Sophie. Also, Alexa, who's got an Alexa? Spirit can talk to you through Alexa. I promise they can. It's the most bizarre thing. I've actually asked for a question in my head, I actually asked a question to Spirit in my head, and Alexa's answered. Now, I've been working as a medium for, well, since I was, how old was I? 22? I've had the gift since I was three, but since I was 22, I'm 42 now, and I nearly passed out <laughs> from that. And I've seen a lot of things, but that nearly just like knocked me off my complete sock. So who has had that? Alexa's are very in tune. Spirit love an Alexa, they love Googles. They love it. Okay. So coincidences is the last one. So who's ever had a moment of almost serendipity, like something's just worked out beautifully and it's almost as if, hmm, doesn't quite make sense, doesn't quite add up. So all of those moments where it's just like, isn't that a strange coincidence that so-and-so was here? Or isn't that a strange coincidence? I was just thinking about that and then it happened. Like all of these things as a sign that spirit are actually with you. It isn't a coincidence. Everything is mapped out and they're with you and they're setting up opportunities for you and supporting you for that reason. OK, so it's really, really interesting when these things happen that you pay attention and be aware that there are forces at hand, there's spirits around you, they're protecting, they're looking after you in order to make everything that you want happen and become real. It's really, really amazing. OK, so um, all of these things are signs that spirit are there. But why would they be there? Has anyone thought about that question? Like, why would they actually be there? And the answer to this is because they just want to let you. Know. Number one, it can be because they actually want you to understand 
that they're there communicating, you're making a connection, they're with you, they're supporting you. But then also it can be that they recognize that you're either on the wrong path, you're doing something where you're not quite grasping exactly what they mean. And they want to just cement and get you to like go to them and ask for support so they can guide you to that next level. So we do need to pay attention to these things. And if they're happening a lot to you, and if you've experienced them frequently in a moment of your life more frequently than you would normally, then you need to pay attention to it. You need to connect in and you need to be looking at what is actually going on with you to get that connection. All right. So does that make sense? We need to be able to understand what it is in your life at that moment that needs the support so that your guides can help you more, the spirits can help you and they can get acknowledged because the actual energy it takes, guys, for them to come forward and do this for you is absolutely immense. It's immense. And I feel sometimes a little bit sorry for them that they go to all this effort to try and grab our attention. And sometimes we just don't even realize we're just oblivious to it all. We just have no clue. And we're like, yeah, so I saw a feather today and angel numbers. And yeah, I got that funny sensation in my body, but I don't really know what it means. So yeah, happens every now and again. So I feel sorry for them because it's like spirit going, acknowledge, hello. Oh, they felt it. Great and then they get nothing back. So we need to give them something back. We need to give them that acknowledgement. And this is all part of connection. Like we're human beings here on earth, having a human experience, but we're also very spiritually connected because if you're not connected, and I don't just mean to like go some random things, but connected to yourself, your purpose, why you're here, what you're doing, where you're going, why you do the things you do, why you're in the relationships you're in, why you work the way you work, while you give what you give, if you're not connected to your purpose and what you're doing, you're not living a, a spiritually connected life, you're just existing. So we need to be able to understand that our connection is everything, our connection is key. Otherwise, how do we know where we're going in life? How do we, how do we know what we're doing? And at the end of your life, you don't want to be there saying, oh, I wish I'd done that or having regrets or wish I took that chance. And you know, so your guides are there trying to get you to have the best time of your life whilst you're here so that you can be supported and you can live that life that you're meant to live. And all our job is to connect in and understand how that guidance actually works for us. But yet everyone's so, well, not everyone, but there's a large majority of people that actually don't even consider it, don't even look into it or don't even give it their time. It's like, I don't have time or I don't know how to, or I'm questioning myself. And these are very real reasons. These are very valid reasons as well. And we want to make sure that what you're doing is actually serving you and you're connected to it in the first place. And you're not just doing it out of fear or thinking that I can't actually get anywhere without this. It's not, we don't want to do that. We want to have you connected to you to understand you, to understand what you need, and then to get the guidance so you're ultimately content and happy in your life that's what we want and you'll see people all the time going oh well you know I'd love to have an amazing life or I'd love to have this but you know it's not realistic or I've made so and so connection but then I don't really get that back and it's like don't give up on this don't give up because your spirits are never giving up I've listed there at least I kind of actually count that quickly one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 12 ways that your spirits are trying to get to your attention, trying to show you that show you they're there with you. 12 ways, like 12 ways, 12 different lots of energy, 12 different lots of vibrations that they actually have to do to actually get you to get their attention, to see them. 12 different ways. And we need to be able to meet them in the middle because they've used all that energy. They've done so much there. We need to be able to meet them in the middle. It has to be done. All right. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I am going to look through your comments now. I am live again tomorrow at 12 p.m. UK time. And I will be doing the first steps to psychic development. So the first steps you need to do to start psychically connecting. I go live three times a week. Um, I'm in this group, Talk Spirit to Me, three times a week. There is so much content in here in this Facebook group. By the way, TikTok, I'm live in another group as well. Um, so come and feel free to add yourselves in. There's a masterclass on Tuesday, which is how to connect to spirit in the fastest way. So if you want to do this properly and you want to know the quickest way to do it, come and join the masterclass. The link is in my bio, everyone. 
and the link for you guys here on Talk Spirit to me, I will post after in the comments so you can just add yourselves in. You will need to register your place so that you know about it in the details and then you'll be able to receive the replay as well. OK, so let me see what everyone is asking and saying. I'd like them to be clearer about what next. Yeah. So when you make the communication, it's almost like, well, what, what is it they want? I don't know what they want. So this is where we have to connect into ourselves and understand what's going on with ourselves so we can get the clarity on where they're actually looking to guide us and what we're actually missing. So the first thing is acknowledge them, acknowledge the sign. The second thing is to understand that they're leading us to something. The third thing is for us to connect into ourselves to understand what we're going through. And then we make the action steps. Uh, Sophie's saying, I'm always smelling like chlorine and sand salt water. I didn't realise this is a smelling ability. Yes, my smell hasn't been great my whole life. Yeah, it's a smelling ability. So there's a reason for that. So either it's something to do with the, the body needing to cleanse. So there'll be something around you and a memory associated to that. Or it could be a spirit from your life that is maybe somebody that took you to the beach or maybe the somebody that always took you swimming or there's a swimming memory or there's something around the water aspect that they're trying to get your attention with. Does that make sense, Sophie? Yeah, no one believes in coincidences, not if you're spiritual. You can't, can you? Because it just wouldn't make sense. Oh, let me just, just mute this. Hang on, I'm just bringing up the comments because I can't see the rest of them on here. Um, yes, yeah, sense to smell. Yes. How do you make a connection? Stephen, if you go on to my TikTok bio, you'll be able to register for the masterclass. And I'll teach you. And all I keep hearing is my name. Like I'm asking everyone, did you call me? Yes, they will do that. So again, find out what they want. Hi, Donna. So I'm coming back to you now on Facebook because the, the comments are actually loading now. Cigarette smoke, yes. Oh, Anita has Alexa come on every night and plays Christmas music. <gasps> so what's your Christmas connection? Who loved Christmas that was on the other side? Yes, Pauline says, Siri once channeled something to me a few years back. Yes, you'll find it will happen. If you are a natural channeler and you do do channeling, then usually electrical items around you will start joining in. I've been woken up at 333 twice and door knocking. I think I'm audio, 100%. My lights in the kitchen flicker at different times. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's have a little else is there. Keep the comments coming, my darlings. I absolutely love doing these lives with you all. I saw more angel numbers yesterday than I've ever before. Wonder why something good happening. You need to connect and find out. That's what we need to do. Sometimes it's because we're not actually doing the steps that we need to take for us right now. So it's like they're trying to get your attention to do, to do something, to take action. Uh, Rosalind says, for me, it feels like Someone is always playing my hair. Yes, I used to love the hair stroking. I used to love that. And when I was younger, I used to sit and watch TV with my brother. I think I've told you all this before, so sorry if I'm repeating myself. And we used to sit, and I, I used to sit like this, which was really random, like with my arm on the chair. And then I could feel when I was like watching Neighbours and Home and Away. Who remembers Neighbours and Home and Away? And I used to feel this like hand, like touching me like touching my hand, like holding my hand. And it was just such a lovely, warm feeling. And I'd say to my brother, my friends are back again. They're touching my hands, my friends are back. And he'd be like, oh yeah, right, yeah. He'd be like, mom, she's at it again. <laughs> so making that connection. Uh, oh, thank you, Sheila. I'm so pleased you all enjoy all this. Are you all coming to the masterclass? Have you all registered? Let me check my page to check you all have. Uh, let me refresh it. Oh, my life. You all have just signed up. Wow. OK, so the psychic ability you actually have is the most popular one at the moment. 
It also gives you the details as well of the masterclass and the fastest way to connect link, which I don't think is available on TikTokers, but it is available in the Facebook group. Guys, you need to be on it. You need to be on the masterclass. Why would you not? Why would you not be on it? There we go. Get yourself in. It's incredible. And also when you sign up, when you register, you're gonna get a lot of content sent to your email because I just like to give you more insight. So go and take it all and submerge yourself into it because you're gonna love it. Okay, so it's on Tuesday. I am back tomorrow. Let me see what they're saying over here. Yes, Bernadette. Yes, absolutely. If you keep hearing, they communicate through songs. I forgot to mention that. They communicate through songs. So if you're hearing that song, the words of the songs sometimes tell you exactly what it is that you're asking for in terms of an answer. Uh, so I'm sat like a, a builder here because the table's in between my legs. I'm like, legs akimbo. Sorry, everyone. Um, oh, Sunny Cornwall. What does it mean when third eye is pulsating a lot? Well, we've got a training about third eye in Talk Spirit to Me. So go and check that out. Uh, I have dreams and it ends up happening. Yeah, predictions. How exciting. I get tingles in my head and my hands. Yeah. I'm from the UK. I'm from the UK in the Midlands. I keep seeing the numbers 333. Three, three. My husband says it's bad. It's halfway to hell. <laughs> no, tell your husband, bless him. But no, it's a sign of new beginnings. How much is the masterclass? It's free. You can join for free. So I do give a lot of free value. Um, I do three weekly live Facebook uh, lives and apparently now on TikTok as well. This is my new thing. So I do that three times a week. But then I also have a membership, which is so the reason I do all this is so that you guys can see how it works for you. And you can understand because spirituality is so life changing. You need to experience it. So I give you a value so you can understand what you need insight on. And then when you come into the membership, which is $44 per month, you can go through all the information and make a massive transformation to your life. Or you can come into my psychic school, which is absolutely incredible. And it really will change everything in your life. It's amazing. And you get lifetime access in that. And that's priced at $888 in full, $888. Or you can pay over four months on a payment plan but you get access for life and you can repeat it as many times as you want. And it's run live. We do two classes a week and it is absolutely incredible. Uh, I do live readings, but only in my membership and also in my Facebook uh, psychic school group. So I only do readings there. The reason for that is because I'm visual and I need to be able to really connect deeply to people's faces. I can do them live, I can. But if you're going to have a reading, I like to do everything properly. I keep thinking about Grand Nan. Is she trying to tell me something? Yeah, if you're thinking about people a lot, absolutely. That can be a sign as well. Does anyone else have that in Talk Spirit to me? Do you think about people and just think, oh, OK, um, I wonder if they're actually, there's a reason I'm thinking this. Because... Sometimes it can be a surge of energy. It can be that they want you to reach out. It can be something like that. Where, uh, where do I find the link to the mass class on Facebook? Yeah, so if you go into the Talk Spirit to Me Facebook group, you'll be able to get the link in there. Uh, Michelle's saying, let's have a look. Um, yes, I think about them and then they call or I'll see them. I've started reaching out if they're on my mind a lot. Yes, exactly. So you're responding to it. Sue's saying, sat in the garden with a cuppa, baby grandson. Um, oh, baby grandson. He's with me asleep in a buggy and we'll be on catch up. Psychic school is amazing. Oh, I know you're loving it, aren't you? It's brilliant. Uh, Always thinking about my Nana passing her birthday. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? How people are such positive influences in our lives and we never forget them. They live on with us. And their memories always live. 
I love that. I love the positive imprint that people leave on people's lives. It's incredible. People will always remember how you made them feel, won't they? They always remember that. And I think that's something that lives on. Right, so I'm going to have to go, guys, because I've got to go and do the school run. I have. So I'm going to love you all and leave you. And I will see you all tomorrow at 12 p.m. Who is going to, who is going to come on at 12 p.m.? Let me know. Oh, thank you, Angela. Thank you for all the love, everyone. I appreciate it. So I'll see you tomorrow at 12 p.m. Enjoy the rest of your days, evenings, wherever you are watching in the world. Thank you so much for being here and make sure you come into the Facebook group if you are on TikTok because it's easier, you can watch more. And if you are in my Facebook group, thank you for tuning in. If you've joined me on replay, give me a hashtag replay. Let me know you've watched. I love you all so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you all soon. Bye.